if you think backwards 20 years ago, so nobody really um, thought that um, tricuspid rotation is an issue. And uh, we believe these days, if you uh, treat the left-sided uh, valve um, um, issues, then tricuspid rotation will, con uh, will um, resolve. So meanwhile, we uh, learned a lot and we know it's not the case. So even if it's, uh, if TR is better after surgery, it may worsen over time. And we also learned that it's not a benign disease. I mean, it can kill your patients, the mortality is increased um, if moderate or severe tricuspid regurgitation is present. So uh, the current opinion is if you do a left-sided um, uh, surgery on the valves, um, then better do the tricuspid regurgitation um, in the same session. Uh, its prevalence matches that of uh, mitral regurgitation, which is a, a common, pretty common condition uh, between heart patients. And it's forgotten because uh, treatment for this valve is uh, rarely carried out. It's a condition which is uh, uh, underdiagnosed, so uh, meaning that patients with these conditions uh, usually are just uh, um, reassured about their symptoms, they are given some medications, but uh, rarely referring physicians think about uh, actually referring these patients for, for surgery or for uh, interventions. Primary uh, tricuspid regurgitation is rare. Secondary tricuspid regurgitation, even it's in its early stages, it's not so rare. I think 90% of all TRs are secondary in their origin. More and more physicians are becoming aware that this is a, a serious disease and it's a serious condition for the patients. TR tends to uh, um, worse with the past of the years, going, it is a clear progression from uh, mild to severe. And once you get to severe, then is then when you start to have symptoms. And then it starts to be too late. Let's say that the final end of this kind of disease, if left untreated, is, uh, is a sort of chronic multi-organ failure. In, so they, they feel really bad, so the outcome is really bad. And, yeah, of course, beside a big impact on the quality of life of the patient, which is also really important for us, tricuspid regurgitation has an impact also on survival. They have, just by the fact of having severe TR, increased mortality. For sure, be aware that TR exists, first of all. Second one, be aware that TR is a problem, so it's not a benign condition. And most of the time, just keep the patient under control, giving him some diuretic and increase some diuretic. Uh, is not going to work in the long term. I think each patient with some kind of heart failure symptoms, so patients with fluid retention, and uh, should be at least uh, be directed to, a, to get an echocardiogram. And with this, the problem can be ruled out or diagnosed. If you have a heart failure symptom, it could be TR. And so send the patient to the cardiologist for, a, for an echocardiogram. I think the most important thing is to follow to follow the patients to do these uh, these echocardiography examinations, you know, on a routine basis, it, because it's a dynamic process. So sometimes you have to 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 repeat these examinations in order to be sure.